I've worked really hard because it wasn't easy. We are about 50, yeah, get, getting to 50 rather. And uh, you see that the, uh, the girls who came here, when I see them, I become afraid because I know that uh, these girls, they are older than me, they'll pick them and leave me. But with the help of God, I'll be able to succeed. Uh, in Cape Coast, we have something like a center. Yeah, it's football for hope. Yeah, it's in Cape Coast. And uh, I wasn't even, I was at home. And one of, uh, we have a coach living at my area, told me that I know how to play football, so I should come with him. I didn't know what I was going to do. So when we came to where we call uh, center, yeah, when we went there, I saw right to dream people. When I even went there first, I didn't know that it's like a football academy coming to get us. So when I read that, I became, uh, I was anxious. So after some time, they called us and said, you should come and play. So I just played. When we played, I, I went home. And we stayed there. We stayed at home for about two months, three months. And then my mother came home. My mother is working at a GES in Cape Coast. So she came home and asked me, uh, like, uh, January, when uh, you were home, do you remember this, this? Yeah, and I said, I remember. I said, they have picked you. I said, they have picked me. What? What happened that they have picked me? And she, uh, the coach came and started explaining. So that's how I got the chance to come here. Yeah. I'm very happy because not all the girls in my area have gotten the chance to come. And even when you're at Cape Coast, you can't even hear of any academy, any academy boys or any academy for girls. So I'm very grateful and happy to be here. Yeah. I want to play football and also go to school because education is important. And other footballers, they say that, oh, me, I know how to play football, so I will not go to school. But as for me, I'm not like that. I want to go to school and play football. It's the will of God. Because among, among 1,000 girls, I didn't even know I'll be among of the selected 40. Because it was, it was, I was very furious the first day I went to play there and um, justify, that was Dakuma. I saw many girls, you see, um, um, some, <laughs> you see someone playing and you, you get scared because they said they want the young, what I heard was they said they want, they want the younger ones and I saw the elderly ones among the younger ones. So I thought maybe and the elderly ones is included. So I didn't, I didn't, it was un unexpected when our coach brought the um, paper that we were selected among the 40. So when we came here to, I saw some and I said, hey, I don't think I can make it because um, um, the more, the more they preach them, the more they also come up. So I thought we, we were down, we, we can't make it, not knowing they only want the younger ones and they made the elderly ones go and now it was we were we were about 12 they said they only want nine so we were all praying everyone was praying especially i and my twin sister that we should be included we should we should we should also make our effort so that we end and just in their scholarship so that's it and no one even told us that we will be having our scholarship today it was unexpected and i and I thank I thank God very uh, very much for bringing me so far to write to dream. <laughs> One, my dream is to be a professional again. So and and my second career is to is to join the armed force. The, sorry, the immigration one day. To finally get some female to join the academy. Yeah, it's a it's a good day for us. You know, we've been planning this for a couple of years and then we spent a lot of money on the recruitment. Uh, we went all around the country and within our target audience we saw a thousand girls but I think even more than that turned up to the events. And uh, you know we had to be very specific about the girls who can go far from this program, who can take advantage of the educational scholarships that we have. Um, and then you know we also hope to create professional opportunities for the girls as well. So it's a great start and we started with just nine. But we hope to build it up gradually over time. 
No, you know, last season was a big achievement. Um, and I think everybody recognised that, the first player since Tony Boer to win a gold, uh, golden boot in Europe. Um, so he did very well. And uh, now uh, I was in Moscow with him a, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he's adapted very well. He's very happy there. I think every player, when they hear about Russia, they get a bit scared, you know. Um, but now he's really settled there. He's really happy there. The club is a fantastic club. You know, it's, it's a big-time club. And the professionalism, if you see the facilities, the new stadium they're building for the World Cup, it's a dream to be playing there. And they really like him as well, you know. And he, he the, they had a pre-season and he scored a lot of goals in the preseason in January and February. So I think, you know, he was dropped from the African Cup of Nations squad, but that helped his club career because it meant he got the whole preseason with them. And then he's just struggled with a couple of injuries. He's not like he, he doesn't really like playing on the artificial turf. But the new stadium uh, in in Moscow is the grass, so that's really going to help him. No, the Russian league is finished now, but it starts again on the 14th of July. They start very early, so he's going to be fit for the start of the Russian. I don't think that I can say they are not given the opportunity. You know, Abu, Mohamed Abu played the uh, 2011 African Cup. Um, Razaknu, who was given a chance in China, uh, Waris, to I think he would definitely have been in the squad if it wasn't for the injury. Um, and then I was disappointed that Akam was dropped this time because his form in Europe has been unbelievable. The last three matches in a row, he was man of the match in Helsingborg. From a wide position, he scored five goals. Uh, so I think in, you know now, especially the IUs are not in the plans. So there's not a huge number of wide players. And obviously, it's the Black Stars, and he's a young player. Um, but I, I think you know he has a big future for Ghana. No, fantastic. You know, uh, he scored five goals this season already, um, and more, and even more than that, he's man of the match the last three matches that he played. You know, and Helsingborg at top of the league, and you can see that he's the key player in the team. And uh, you know, Waris was given the chance when playing for Haken, which is a smaller team. So I'm sure, when you're a regular performer for uh, Helsingborg, you know, like I wouldn't say Helsingborg is a big club in Europe, but in terms of Scandinavia, it's the biggest club. You know, so uh, he's doing really well, and his time will definitely come.